Hi everyone. Welcome to the new lecture of code practice and in this video we will talk about how to remove if else ladder in a java code and it's a part of clean code practices and these things i will use in my next lecture where i'm going to use i will let you know so for that for this video we will talk about how to remove if else ladder in our code so let's say we have a enum let's say payment type and i am saying it's a credit card one is debit card and one is let's say paytm right paytm wallet okay and let me make it enum right so now in my code let's say if i say if let me make a method handle payment type right and i will pass a string let's say paytm right and now i will i'm saying if payment type dot paytm dot name dot equals ignore case equal to paytm right then say paytm payment type called right similarly we will write for another let's say if credit card payment type payment type and payment type and similarly for and let's say for debit card right now credit card payment type is called debit card payment type is called and else and here i'm saying not a valid payment type method found right and now i'm passing this one let's see what happens so this is our general java code to execute how to write if else conditions right now what i will do i will make a class which will remove this if else conditions and i will use enum map there so enum map is a kind of solution where our key will be enum type key will be of enum type and value whatever we want to return right so what i will do is here i will call that thing so let's say payment type handler so in this class i will specify public final enum map and enum map my key is payment type and let's say i want to perform a consumer right consumer of string value right and this string will be method uh, payment type which i am expecting right and this is payment type consumer in a map new in a map and key will be payment type dot class right and here i can remove this thing now now here i'm saying i will make a constructor and i am initializing this map object right so i will create this method here and i will say okay 
I can also do this thing as well payment type consumer map dot put payment type dot credit card this and here using the method reference handle paytm method paytm payment type right so it will create a method which is basically consumer it will accept a string and it will process that string right now it is of as consumer and consumer doesn't return anything so we we are going to have void as our return type right so here we can use this statement for paytm sorry this is credit card right and we will execute this statement there similarly we will put for others debit card and paytm and here i will say handle credit card payment type instead i will say debit card and here i will say paytm right create method right and here i will copy this string payment type and here i will copy this string right now we have this string now i am making a getter here so that i can get this map right and i can make this now private okay so let's come to this class i will remove this code or i will comment this code or this i can do now i will atm type handler i will basically inject this paytm payment type handler into my application class so for this i will define a constructor this is my constructor right and here i will define the getter for this and here i will make a class of application new payment type handler now why i did this when this class will be initialized this method will be called and these things will be initialized right so now we will get the application object right and application dot now i can get the payment type handler dot get payment type map right now i have this map in a map right so what i can do is payment type handler dot right so i have this map right here dot now what i can do get so if i pass payment type dot paytm dot accept right and now it it will pass a i will pass a string and it will be payment type payment type dot paytm right so it and dot equals or directly this string right and also what we can do is instead of this uh, yeah so let me run this so if you see here if in future i need to add one if condition as well let's say i am adding one payment method credit card debit card paytm and let's say abc is my payment type then i need to extend here only and to implement this consumer method only i don't need to modify this thing so as we have our principal the 
in the solid principle the o term which is open for extension but closed for modification right so across our whole application if you want to change if you want to use this scenario payment handler then we can use this kind of thing so we have to change only this class and else and everything like whatever the classes in which it is being used we can save modifications there and we are only extending this class right it is uh, open for extension but our code is closed for modification so it also satisfy this principle and it's kind of a clean code practices that your or this your code always re will remain like this so i hope you guys have liked this video if you like this please like and subscribe my channel and see you in the next lecture